Climate change demands that we act now. The emission of greenhouse gases into the atmosphere is already causing temperature increases, droughts and floods, rises in sea levels and glacier melt. According to figures from 2011, Latin America and the Caribbean produce only 9% of the planet's contaminating emissions. But the region is particularly vulnerable to the effects, especially in Central America and the Caribbean. The greatest risks are posed to agricultural production, water availability, forest and biodiversity preservation, tourism in coastal areas, and population health and poverty. Preliminary estimates indicate that if the temperature rises by 2.5 degrees Celsius compared to the historical average, the economic costs of climate change could amount to between 1.5% and 5% of the region's current gross domestic product, GDP. On the other hand, the costs of taking the steps needed to avoid the effects of climate change are estimated to be below 0.5% of the regional GDP. These studies offer enough evidence for decision-making. It is urgent that we invest in sustainable infrastructure, in more and better public services and renewable energies. Considering that such an investment is the bridge that connects our present with the future we want. Beyond these steps, only a global agreement based on the principle of common but differentiated responsibilities, along with a change in production and consumption patterns, will allow the region to confront climate change and move towards a new model of sustainable development with equality. Latin America and the Caribbean is still in time. <laughs>